In the Western Pacific Ocean in June 2025, the spectacular scene of the first meeting of the dual carrier formation of the Chinese Navy's Liaoning and Shandong ships demonstrated to the world the strategic ambitions of a rising maritime power. In these blue waters, the Liaoning's flight deck neatly lined up 12 catapulted J-15T fighters, and the Shandong's mix of up and coming carrier planes formed a highly impactful picture. This seemingly contradictory, catapulted fighters boarding the skidding carrier, equipment configuration, but in fact, hidden in the Chinese Navy for the future of the three aircraft carriers coordinated operations of the far-reaching thinking. From the Miyako Strait to offshore Nanjoto, from single carrier training to dual carrier coordination, from skidding to electromagnetic catapulting, the Chinese Navy is playing a strategic chess game across time and space. Japan's Ministry of Defense Unified Shogunate Supervision Department's briefing recorded the trajectory of this historic expedition of the Chinese Navy. Liaoning fleet as early as May the 27th broke through the Miyako waterway into the Pacific Ocean hinterland, continued to the southeast direction, Shandong fleet on June the 14th, appeared in the Okinawa southeast of about 550 kilometers of the sea, and the Liaoning ship to form a strategic echo. It is worth noting that the Liaoning's trajectory extends to offshore Nanjoto Island, only 1,800 kilometers away from Tokyo, which is the first time that a Chinese carrier battle group has approached the eastern region of the so-called Second Island Chain creating a new record for the distance of the strategic outreach. Military expert Wang Yunfei pointed out that the western Pacific waters east of Taiwan Island is the core concern of China's maritime power. Dual carrier coordinated exercises in the region is no coincidence, but to deal with the future of the complex threat environment of the mandatory course. In the logic of modern naval warfare, a single aircraft carrier has significant vulnerability, and it is very easy to fall into the predicament of fighting alone. Only dual carrier or even three carrier formation, in order to build a reliable deterrent force and flexible combat system. Carefully observe the official release of training images, you can find a revolutionary change. Liaoning ship deck has been fully equipped with J-15T fighters. Shandong ship is still presenting a mix of old and new but the number of catapulted version of the J-15T has taken a clear advantage. This batch of fighters designed for the electromagnetic catapult system of Fujian ship boarded the skidding carrier, reflecting the Chinese Navy's very forward-looking strategic thinking. The J-15T is not simply an upgraded model. It is equipped with a domestically produced turbofan 10B engine with more than 20% more thrust than the Russian-made L-31F, which gives the fighter aircraft an amazing short takeoff capability and even with a full load of fuel and ammo, it can still powerfully lift off from the Liaoning ship's 14 degrees skidding deck. Its combat performance has even realized a cross-generation leap. The gallium nitride active, phased array radar has increased its detection range by 40% in complex electromagnetic environments, and together with the Thunderbolt 15 long-range air-to-air -air missiles, with a range of more than 200 kilometers, and the Thunderbolt 10 high-mobility combat missiles, it constitutes an all-area strike chain that covers the area of over-the-horizon to close-range combat. This, catapult fighters boarding the skidding carrier, configuration, on the surface seems contradictory, but in fact is the Chinese Navy to open the bottleneck of the future of multi-carrier, coordinated operation of the key drop. As China's first electromagnetic catapult carrier, Fujian ship has completed eight sea trials, its electromagnetic catapult system testing into the final sprint stage. However, the combat power of a carrier lies not only in the ship itself, but also in the pilots who are good at operation and the ground crew, who are familiar with maintenance. By deploying the J-15T in advance on an active carrier, the Chinese Navy has realized a seamless transition from people to equipment. When the Fujian ship is inducted, this group of crew members, who are already proficient in the operation and maintenance of J-15T, can be directly transferred to their jobs which will shorten the cycle of the new carrier's combat power generation by more than 60%. The more far-reaching significance of this layout is to crack the core technical bottleneck of the three carriers' coordinated operation when the carrier aircrafts of Liaoning or Shandong ships land, urgently in Fujian ship due to battle damage or supply. The catapulted version of the J-15T can be lifted into the air by electromagnetic catapult directly if it is only equipped with the old J-15, it will be unable to adapt to the catapult and lose the ability of cross-platform support. This model unification has laid a solid technical foundation for multi-carrier formation tactical coordination. The dual carrier formation showed unprecedented oceanic strike capability. Liaoning ship and Shandong ship constitute the core strike group, with 3055 type 10,000 tons destroyer, 5052D type destroyer, and many elite frigates, integrated supply ships, 
the total tonnage exceeded 400,000 tons, the number of patat tube more than 1,000. Such a large fleet breaks through the first island chain in the Japanese self-defense forces ships and aircraft under full surveillance, but still completed a high-intensity carrier aircraft takeoff and landing, night flights, multi-ship formation resupply and other combat-oriented subject drills. Military expert Zhang Zufeng analyzed that the double aircraft carriers can not only open the distance to respond to each other, build a deep denial line of defense, but also can quickly focus on the implementation of joint strikes to play a 1 plus O any greater than TWO combat effectiveness. J-15T full deployment of the two carriers to make a significant increase in combat power, Leonin ship on the deck of 12 J-15T in a straight 1-8 YA wax configuration is close to its limit capacity. Combat efficiency than before the modification jumped nearly 30%. This jump in combat power is not only reflected in quantity, but also in quality injecting new vitality into the Chinese Navy's ocean-going combat capability. While the Liaoning and Shandong ships are cruising the western Pacific with the J-15T, the Fujian ship moored at the Jiangnan shipyard is undergoing the final debugging of its electromagnetic catapult. The 80,000-ton ship will carry J-35 stealth fighters, Air Marshal 600 fixed-wing early warning aircraft, and attack 11 drones, constituting a complete carrier air power family portrait. The oceanic maneuvers and model changes of the current dual carriers actually build a key transition bridge for the three-carrier era. The mature use of J-15T on the skidding carrier has verified the excellent performance of the aircraft in terms of multi-platform adaptability, the establishment of cross-ship training mechanism for pilots, Fujian ship reserves of combat power, dual carrier synergy experience is directly converted into the future of the three carrier combat order advantage. Foreign media keenly observed that the Liaoning fleet formation appeared in the waters of the second island chain, signaling that China's aircraft carriers will become the norm in the future to enter the Guam and even Hawaii neighborhood. When the roar of the J-15T's engine resonates with the Fujian ship's electromagnetic catapult track, the power pattern in the western Pacific is ushering in a silent but profound change. As the last J-15T's to take off from the Liaoning's flight deck were hidden in the clouds, Shandong's mixed fleet was skimming the rough waves east of Okinotori Reef. The trajectory of these catapult fighters taking off from the skid deck has long exceeded the geographical significance of the Miyako waterway, pointing to a broader deep blue coordinate. There, the Fujian ship's electromagnetic catapult has completed the final debugging, waiting with them to weave the Chinese Navy's three aircraft carrier era. The J-15T taking off from the skid is not only a tactical breakthrough, but also a preview of the strategic upgrade. The Chinese Navy has taken the unification of equipment and the advancement of training as the pivot point, prying the door of future multi-carrier cooperation. When the steel bodies of the three aircraft carriers finally converge in the depths of the Pacific Ocean, the deep sea coordinates of China's maritime power will redefine the power pattern of this ocean, contributing China's wisdom and China's power to the maintenance of regional peace and stability.